so forth, whether it's on a planet or in space or all this kind of stuff and things. And then, yeah, and then the idea would be for um, mining to be the next thing that we would, we, we would basically go for straight after 3.0. Awesome. So, um, when this, uh, this, this patch 3.0 comes out, so right now, uh, um, original players of the game are used to spawning in Port Olisar if they are um, a good guy, if they've done some, some naughty things, then they'll spawn in Grim Hex. Um, will we be able to choose our spawn points in 3.0? So, yeah. yeah, so 3.0 is the first, um, uh, it's the first um, set of, of actually going for proper persistence. Mm -hmm. So in 3.0, your ships will persist, your items will persist, you will, you know, and also where you where you actually stop will persist. So if I basically fly to a location and then I log out of that location, I will then reappear at that location, not at either port or so forth. Like that. So basically, you, where you end up and where you're going to be, <coughs> if you want to get back to another location, you don't have a ship, then you better get a ride with someone to take you back there. And then on the ship side as well, if you do damage to your ship, that damage will persist. So you need to get it fixed up and so forth. If you basically get your ship blown up. Then you'll have to get another ship back through, um, you know, your insurance. Right. Um, but also, once again, if you've like gone and put lots of cool stuff in that ship, then the insurance really just gives you back the base model. So you have to go get the stuff again. So we want players to start um, being precious about what they have. Because right. right now, you have a ship, it blows up, you just get another one, and, and you know, and the cycle returns. And some people go up and do silly things or just whatever. Whereas we've got to be, we want, we want to get it to where you, there's a real reason to have your ship, and also you want to take care of your ship. So. <laughs> Excuse me, if, you, if you're getting in trouble, you may actually think about getting out there, getting out of there rather than sort of hanging around just to get blown up right. because then it's easy to get hold by new ship quickly and so forth. And how will that affect respawning? I mean, I, I know the big picture when you'll, the game comes. You'll, yeah. you'll respawn if you die, you'll respawn in the last um, um, main um, location which has a medical facility okay. that you're at. Right. <coughs> so not the nearest, but the last one you were at. Yes. Okay. You can set, the idea is you set a location. Uh, and you say, right, this is where I'm going to respawn, you know, uh, and so and that's where, and that will take you to the nearest one. You basically, and it should be the last one you're at um, for that. I think if, because um, uh, you basically, you're telling them where you want to respawn. The only thing, there are one or two things that we're talking about in terms of the game side of that to make sure that people can't gamify that as well in terms of like, go, oh, well, I'm going to set this last location over here, but I'm halfway across the universe, but I can quickly right. get back there for that. So obviously so it's going to be a mix of with, trying to find somewhere you die, near you know, where you are but not necessarily okay, exactly and if you're if you're in a ship and you uh you basically log out and you're in the middle of deep space then basically the ship will then probably hang around for a few seconds to make sure you're not just logging out to you know get away from being destroyed but then at that point you will then log back in that look you'll look you'll be back in that ship in that exact area of space when you log back in again right awesome so, so but we, we obviously we know we're going to have a lot of work to do in terms of as we get the systems working people will find ways of um you know uh let's say um, playing the system let's say rather than abusing right. and then we'll have to work out ways to make it fair you know so um so, so everyone you know, having a good experience so um we're talking about a real big implementation 3.0 it's going to be Huge. It, is, it is bigger than, um, yeah, when we first talked about what we we're going to do for 3.0 and then we actually got into what we've done and the technology behind it, it's been a huge undertaking. It's actually going to be the biggest, uh, I think, well, people will, uh, you know, since I'm, we're looking, we really want to get into the hands of, uh, you know, Evercati at first and then to everybody else. But I think when people actually see exactly what's in there and all the systems, including the new Mobiglass stuff, there's you know, mission and loads of different things are in there, then people see just how big and, and how much stuff there is. I mean, you can, you, like I said, just here, the, everyone here is just wandering around on one planet, just, yeah. you know, having fun. Right. You know, we're, we're going to have loads of different locations, things to do, and all that, and that sort of stuff. And things. Right. So following up on that, how is the net coding coming along? Can we can we expect, like, we've been working with the 2.6 version for a long time, and, and we've heard a lot about the new net coding coming into place. Can we expect, obviously, maybe not from right from the start, but... Uh, up to a certain point that we can expect a minimum amount of frame rate that we're dealing with. Yeah, so what we've done is we have literally torn out everything that was there before because we had to, because it just didn't, it wasn't, it was never made to make anything of scale. And so what the, the network guys have been doing is basically rebuilding the literal fundamental sort of, um, um, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, core sort of tech and, and underneath the system. And so a lot of that core tech is now in. There's more to do. But actually, a lot of the work that goes in isn't just the fact that they have to write the core tech in terms of how to efficiently 
pass information to make sure that you know you know that you know um, you know that stuff's been combined and then sent and a lot of the things just to get like a lot better um, no, no, network speed performance um, and in terms of obviously reducing the packet sizes um, but it's also about um, you know if the guy's making sure um, you know that uh, but then what happens is is the gameplay programmers then have to take that work mm. and then they have to go through all the gameplay systems and make sure the gameplay systems are calling these routines. So it's a, so it's a huge effort, not just on the network side, but everybody. Because when we basically go, we make sure, okay, well now we've got this great new system for transporting it, but uh, you know, for whatever reason, the, um, I don't know, uh, the way we, you know, the, the, the way we, you know, the FPS team does some of the stuff doesn't work as efficiently with that. So then they go in and they basically go and put all these calls in to do it that way to basically get the um, you know to improve the form. So it's always it's a I guess what I'm saying is as we go through every system and then we basically move and then we move it over to the new stuff, then it gets more efficient and faster. So it's right, a process right. which happens over a period of time. And we've been doing that now for quite a few months. So people should notice with 3.0 a lot better, um, you know, uh, latency stuff. I'm sure when we first go out, there'll be bugs and stuff like that. But we will basically work through those, get the stuff going in, and it'll get a lot faster. And the other really important thing is all the work they've done is actually um, is, is is the basis of the server transition stuff, which is what we need to really get a bunch of players in there. Right. So when we can have, you know, when we can have a server control anything from a room, if, if we want to have a load of people in that room to a, a system, and then. And then we can just we can transfer people seamlessly from server to server. Then all of a sudden we can put everybody in one game universe because we can, all we do is we just increase the amount of servers depending on how many people are in there. And then if if there's a very popular room on a single planet, then we may just say you know God there's like 500 guys want to be in that room. All right, we'll have just one server that cares about that room. And when they walk out that room, they then pass it to another server which is then controlling the the road outside exactly. and stuff like that and so forth and things. So exactly. the idea what we want to do is get everybody. We don't want to have well, you know, we'll see where we end up, but we really are working hard to have everybody plays in the same universe, so we don't have to have like different instances. But we'll see where we get to with it. So, piggybacking off the question about the netcode, um, I remember not too long ago there was an ATV episode about how they were des describing how they were planning to reimburse that. So right now, there's a lot of data going between the player and the client, and that they're kind of shortening a lot of that data mm -hmm. and then sending them out in bursts yep. where everybody's sending those bursts at the same time. Yep. Uh, since we're talking about FPS, will that help to keep the servers uh, cleaner as they run longer? Because one of the things that I personally notice is that when you have it to a server, if it, you can tell if it's been up for a while just due to the FPS. So will that help it's, that system, it, help the FPS in there as well? It, I mean, that's, that is due more to the fact that there's probably... Um, Typically, there's probably like a slow memory leak, and what happens is, is the server after the longer the server's up, then it's more chance then, then memory memory gets like corrupted, and then it, and then it causes problems and so forth and so on. So what we do in that case is we're more trying to hunt down what those problems are for fixing that issue. Um, but what 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 they're talking about more is going to fix just um, um, because the problem is the server. So if you're the client, you only care about certain things like what's around you and so forth and things. So I don't care if. There's a ship like you know the other side of the solar system. I only care what's around me, and so so we can optimize the client to that. The server, unfortunately, has to care about it all because it has to know you know um, you know what 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 the, what you know what every single client's doing where they are. So it literally has to keep the whole. It doesn't actually have to render the world, but it has to keep the um, you know the, you know the sort of physics in the world, which is very expensive. And so what we are doing is spending a huge amount of time is, is getting that much more efficient. And in the stuff, because there, another reason why you have the problems where you see like some of the, the rubber band and so forth is also due to the fact that the server speeds get very slow because they've got such a, such a weight on them. And so, if the, so, you know, the client may be running at 30, 40, 50, 60 frames a second, but if the server's getting hammered, it's running at like, you know, sometimes six frames a second. And so, at that point, it's only really getting, you know, so the update right. time, it may be fine on your side, but then by the time the information gets to you from what someone else is doing, because the server is, is just really struggling, it's not the information. So we spend a lot of time, in fact, with the 3.0 time, it's great, um, um, you know, um, really invest a lot of time on it to really get our, our server um, times back where they need to be. So now we've got the server running at 30 um, uh, FPS, which, is, which makes a massive difference to, right. to how it will affect everybody else. Because it, as you're saying, it will affect people's performance and what they see if the server's slower. Because there'll be, the problem is it stalls waiting for the next instruction from the server about you know, Westerners what's going on, and that can cause problems in your end. So by lessening the data and sending it all in pulses at the same time, yeah. that is 
bettering the it's, FPS for everybody as well as allowing the servers yeah. to stay up longer for smoother periods of gameplay. Yeah, we, 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 get, we, get this, we get the packet size down and, all, you know, and that sort of stuff. We, and, and, um, and that does help the latency. It helps, a, it helps a whole bunch of stuff. But also just having the server, um, you know, being able to cope with the load is, 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 a, is a major win. So uh, last year we saw for the first time uh, a mission giver in that uh, in uh, was it Eckhart Miles Eckhart. Uh -huh. So in, in that the player actually approached him and they spoke to him and they gave him the mission. Yep. Uh, in the game, as it's a an MMO, it's a it's, an, it's a multiplayer game. How are you going to handle multiple people trying to go to the same quest giver? Is there an elaborate queuing system for that, or are, is it that uh, only one person will be able to meet him in a locked room and they just have to address him with their Moby glass or? Um, we'll basically have yeah there'll be they'll, 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 we'll have a sort of a, a queuing system in place where you um, basically if there's a lot of people just happen to be going to the same guy in one mm -hmm. go then basically you know you know you know whoever basically takes the empty seat next to him or however that works and so forth and things like that we'll get we'll, we'll work on once again we don't know what the load will be like because obviously right now there's like one mission giver right but you know obviously when we have when we go out there, we're going to have lots of different people doing lots of different things, and so hopefully there won't be everybody going to one person at the same time. Right. But if that's the case, we'll have to work and look at that, and, and if, if what we think will work doesn't work, we'll just have to basically work out some new, a new way of handling like you know, a massive queue of people. So, so a queuing system in a way of instancing that specific scene? No, we don't want to do that. It would be it, it would be like, um, we try and work out some way where like, you know, some people are in the room and so forth. It would be like, um, so if you're, let's say, uh, you know, Eckhart sitting there, then you know the way you would basically, the, the way you would basically, you know, get in there is you'd basically click on the seat next to him. And if someone's sitting in that seat, then you can't click on the seat. If someone leaves, then the next person then click on that seat. Now, obviously, it could mean someone who's been there an hours keeps on missing out on the click. But that's kind of, but you know, at the moment, that's kind of the way it works. And obviously, we'll then. Um, you know, then we'll, we'll change it if we feel like it's just not working as well and so forth. Means. Will we be able to, and this is a really big one for me personally, will we, will we be able to share missions with yes. friends? Yes. Because that would be amazing, yeah. because that way you can get the one mission from Miles and, you know, get your buddy and then go together. Instead of like, you know, Miles is like, all right, you're next, come on, okay, and he gives them the same story. Yeah, I mean, uh, with 3.0, you can, um, the other thing you can do is you can basically, um, you can you, um, when you're when you're basically um, quantum driving, mm -hmm. you can link to to your friends as well, so they all quantum at the same time as you. All this kind of stuff as well, and also we're putting in a, and also we're putting more work into allowing people to um, get in with their friends a lot easier. Right. So basically, the idea is you can we will be able to now. Um, the work's ongoing right now, so it will be it will be for 3.0. <laughs> but that's that's what we want to get with for 3.0. Mm -hmm. But you'll be able to actually go in and have a much easier way of getting in with your friends. So you can play together in, in the in the, um, awesome. the center. Because right. So will we be looking at some sort of homesteading then at 3.0 at the beginning, like having a combination of actual hangers coming into the PU as well? Um, not, well, yes. You have you have a, you have, wait, when you the way it works now. You land your ship. Uh, you walk away, then your ship is then basically um, it's put away for you until you want it again, and so forth. So that's how we clear out the stuff. We actually have we also have air traffic control. So now you you ask for landing, it'll point to where you're going to go land, and then you go land there. And then once you've walked away from the ship, it'll then basically um, it'll then remove it. Uh, you go do whatever you want to do and so forth, and then you can go like, oh, I want to go now and buy uh, um, lots of commodities for my ship. You can go do all that kind of stuff and things like that. And then basically you put it into the ship, and then it'll basically then it'll reappear for you when you need to leave and so forth. Okay. But, we'll, but we'll, there will be we will be instancing your hangers, so when, so I, it won't be 3.0, but we will have a situation where um, uh, you know where you will be able to actually go like, like you have the hangar in that room now, but you will be able to go in there and there'll be an instance of your hangar. You can do your kind of stuff and things like that. Right. Right. Okay, because that, that's actually tied into something I was going to ask in regards to the hangar. So, once you have the... I know you mentioned that if you die somewhere out in space, you can pick the next medical place. Uh, that the last primary medical facility that you were at or somewhere uh -huh. close to that. I imagine that's... So, is that like a temporary kind of like a hangar situation to where you can park there? Uh, if, if you, per se, get, get your ship blown up, so you go back to that station and you revive, can you then order your ship to be delivered there and you, then make you, adjustments you, to it before you, it arrives? Yes, you, 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 can, you can order your ship, but obviously um, this is where we go into, um, you know, the whole supply and demand thing. If you, you know, if you're, if you're flying around in Aurora, then yeah, they're probably going to get once you pretty quickly. If you're, though, if you're flying around in Idris, 
then you know they don't just make those every five seconds so they may say oh well you lost your interest so you've got another one on the way but there may be a, a, there'll, there'll be a, 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 a sort of time they'll take to get a new ship and so 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 i imagine a lot of players will probably have more than one ship because they'll want oh well, okay i'm waiting for this one to come back i'll fly this one here and i'll do this kind of stuff things like that so it just depends what kind of ship you've got the more expensive the ship it's like you know if you want to you know, for instance, you go buy a Ferrari, right? You're waiting like 12 months to, to get it. Whereas if you're going to go buy a Ford, well, you can just walk onto the forecourt and buy it straight away. Right. And that actually kind of ties into something that someone asked in the chat earlier. Uh, what are some of the costs and challenges of operating a capital ship like the interest? So if you have something like an interest, what as a player would you need to keep in mind if you were going to try to say take it out for a test drive, that's an excellent question. Actually, yeah. yeah, I mean, you, you, I mean, number one, obviously, fuels to be a big part of that. I mean, I, we see the Idris is it's not a, it's a ship that you're going to have to fly with with your friends or you know with, with, with your guild, whatever you know, um, your group, or whatever you want to call it. So because it's going to because it, it requires so many positions, like you can, one person can pilot it, that's fine, but that one person can't basically you know um, you know you know do all the weapons or the turrets need to be manned. Uh, if things go wrong, if power systems go down, there needs to be an engineer to fix those systems because they, you know, they have you know, the equivalent of sort of like all the ships have the equivalent of, of, of transport layers for how power gets to a place. And so everything, and the great thing about the two-point system is you can just turn off, if you turn off the uh, power, then it just turns out everything just goes black. It's off. You can see the ships right now. It just goes like the ships actually drop. And if you see it, it just go do things, go bang straight down because obviously the power's gone. And the same for the big capital ship. So. The, what you need to do is, is basically have people who are repairing these systems. If you get hit, then um, the way the power is transferred from, say, the power plant to, say, the shields is through basically a, a number of conduits which have basically fuses on them. And if, if the ship takes damage, the fuses get overloaded, those fuses blow. And then, and so an engineer's job would be to then to reroute power to get its shields back online, or then even send someone to the physical location where that fuse box is, which is somewhere in the ship, which are placed all around the ship. Go there, get a new fuse, take it out, put a new one in to get the you know get the shields back online before you take more damage. So it's to be a really cooperative. I mean, I see people when they first get on their Idris will just be doing drills, you know, before they even get into combat oh, to, try yeah. and be, to try and get as like you know good at doing as stuff as possible and things like that. It's like, so, but that, so there's a lot of that, and that's why you have to repairing. We have like items, so we have you know people who, who go around and repair and do the stuff. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's there's you know there's a different systems. There's uh, obviously not only the weapon side, there's the shields. You've got the engines. You've got the um, repair stuff. We've got um, obviously we've also have you know we also going to have we talked about um, the ability to also hack systems as well. So you need people who are defending against that kind of thing as well. All these kind of things. So I had that kind of linked to one more thing that I was thinking when it comes to. A player when it comes to vehicles. A lot of people don't know about electronic access and that you can earn your wreck through Arena Commander, Star Marine, and that sort of thing. Uh, will there be a way in 3.0 for a player to rent a ship that they don't have access to so they can kind of give it a test run for it? Or something? Well, I mean, so, you'll be able to buy it using um, uh, uh, um, you know, Alpha UE. In 3.0? Yeah, that's the idea. So basically, basically, the idea is you, be, you know, we do stuff like that, we can't be any kind of stuff and things like that. So. Um, that's well, that's obviously the, that's the that's the the whole, the whole idea is if, if you if you've obviously been good enough to support the game and and obviously got the, you know a package and stuff like that and you have the ship to um, ship to fly but also the idea is we're going to be earning your the as as we go as we go in we're going to be earning money so you can buy items for ships you can do stuff like that and also um, and get the other stuff now I have to say now so for 3.0 um, uh, um, obviously for you to finish I mean, yeah, yeah yeah so <laughs> I actually think that's pro we're probably that's probably not going to make 3.0 now it's yes. more like 3.1 but the but um, but the idea is everything else you can buy up you can do all that kind of stuff. Yes. So the first then, major, but the net one of the further down the line, yes. like closer well, to. I just want to reconfirm that is <laughs> ship purchasing without the UEC, it's down the road. It's it's in, but it's in the pipeline. Will but it still but be but a temporary but thing? Not 3.0. Uh, like compared to REC, will it still be a temporary thing, or are we actually talking about buying it with Alpha UEC and having it a persistent kind of thing going on? What, sorry, say again. With with the ships, with uh, DJ was talking about the wreck system. Will we have like a like some sort of a, an equal system in 3.0? And you said like that it it would be possible at the longer run to buy that with Alpha UEC. But uh, will that still be like a temporary thing? I am, uh, you know, I am actually not sure about that right now. So, so I think right now we can only do it. You can only do Arena Commander, and I don't think we've transferred it over to 3.0. Right. But I'm not 100% positive on that one. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's a system that's still being explored and worked on. So you can expect to find a lot more about it in a future ATV when it comes time to cover the systems of 3.1. So. Um, 
So you talked about uh, players having to interact with each other because, um, again, Star Citizen is a multiplayer game and um, the, the, the intention is to get people to come together and work together to be able to, do, to accomplish things. So when you were talking with DJ about capital ships and uh, having people like, run there to do this, do that, the other, I know, like, I know there are many people who um, they favor a more, I suppose, single-player experience. Yeah, they as well own those larger ships. Mm -hmm. What is the intention for, I mean, how easy would it be for them to also uh, um, operate those ships? Uh, well, we, we're going to have, obviously, we talked about we're going to have AI that you can hire to do that. So right. we'll definitely have that. But I don't, and AI is never going to be as good as another human player, you right. know, probably. I mean, they'll be able to do well, maybe as good for as you. <laughs> but basically, but, but, but you know, so so we can have them obviously man turrets for you um, to do engineering tasks and so forth, and things like that. So we will have that ability. So if someone really wanted to just have their address and you know and pilot it themselves and then have the ability to do something, then we are gonna we are gonna we, we plan to have that. But that AI f um, uh, functionality for that kind of stuff is, won't be you know it's not it's not planned for 3.1. Right. On, if you're on that um, okay. side of things. Well, we literally have time for one more question for Aaron Roberts before we have to let him go. I got, so who's got it? We can go with uh, the, one of the questions that we already had. Uh, you mentioned a lot of uh, some of the bigger things that are keeping you from, like, that are, that are not going to be making it in 3.1 or you're, that you're working on in 3.1, like one of the biggest blockers that you've had. So what is one of the things that you, you and your team have taken care of as far as pushing out 3.0? Like, what is the most impressive thing that you've seen that's been fixed? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, well, the, 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 the one, well, one of the most impressive things we got working with um, people. Oh, it's unfortunately, but would be a bit of a spoiler, so I can't really talk about it. But you may, you may, you may find out in a few days' time. Um, okay. But, but, um, but, um, but in terms of um, really getting the two point zero functionality for that kind of stuff, is um, is, uh, is is actually the, the biggest is one of the biggest win for us in terms of basically getting that interactivity going with the player and how all that sort of interacts and it affects so many different systems and that's one of the big ones and of course I could go into uh, I could go in for minutes on all the, the tech under the scenes that's been changing to make all the stuff work and that's the, there's so much work that's gone in and from everywhere from you know from the multiplayer from the render side to I mean we have I mean we showed you um, some of the event texture stuff now we have and things like that we've got some other cool tech and stuff like that that you know um, we you know we'd love to um, show off at some point some point getting there <laughs> all right Aaron thank you so much for taking the time to come and do this I, 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 know, I know it's and thank you so uh, much. Well, no, it's great thanks for having me thank you sir thank, thank you. you thank you so much Aaron thank and you Gamble Meyer DJ you did a fantastic job I, I love I, I love the these have been my favorite happy hours ever because I just get to sit here and relax <laughs> and, 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 and listen. I never get to do that. So thank you so much. Guys, we will be back at the top of the hour uh, with more Star Citizen Alpha 3.0. Thanks.
we'll be broadcasting a similar show like we're doing right now in the morning before them. Uh, of course, we do have, if you are in the Cologne area, we do have a Bar Citizen event tonight at the Brow House Una Nauman. Uh, that starts at 8 p.m. Uh, local time. That's about 6 p.m. UTC. And uh, uh, one of the more common questions we, we've, we've been getting is what are the specs of the computers that we are all playing on right here? So we have got we have got Myers computer here all set to bring up. There you go, bring that One up more. there. So as you can see, we are playing on an Intel uh, Core, uh, Core i7 7700 with 32 gigabytes of RAM and of course a, G, a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. These are the specs of the computer that we're running. Uh, we're also running on uh, Intel uh, SSDs for. Uh, if, if that matters, of course. Of course it does. It's great for loading times. Our games are loading, you know, very, very quickly. All right. All right. So close that up. Let's get back to the game. We have got one hour left. What are we doing, guys? Well, you wanted to point out that during this time, we stayed in that separate server. It didn't even crash once. Yeah, the entire time <laughs> yeah, the entire time we were doing Aaron's interview, you just sat in the, you sat however, in the server. However, however, stay. Look at look at his oxygen. He has one minute left of oxygen. Yeah. Yep. You should run around a little bit. Been sitting here. You should just run. <laughs> just okay. run and just drag that uh, hold out. Hold on, no, 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 hold on, no, hold on. Don't do it. Just, we just we have it this up. here. You, okay. Let's find out what happens when you run out of oxygen. Yeah, I don't want to sit here. All right. So now it's 17 seconds left jog because I was jog I was jog running. Now notice you had a minute 17 and then right. you started moving. So that's kind of cool as well. As as more stamina that you use, your oxygen level will deplete faster. So we're at 12 seconds. Can you not run? There it 11. is. I can run. I can run. Yeah. There we go. Uh, oh, what? Oh, two, one second. And no oxygen left. But I can hold my breath for a little while, so <laughs> I'll just run it off. But well, we were curious to see whether this mechanic, whether this mechanic was working in today's build. And it looks like uh, not. But it's nice to see that it's there. You know, yeah. So yeah. Everything exactly. but the kill command is there. All right. So. Let's uh, let's, let's have a little railgun fun. Railgun's gun gun. always a big hit. So let's put one of you with a railgun, and let's have both of you jump into a cutlass, and let's see if we can have a little fun with our uh, with our gun guests here in the booth. Just trying to run through the uh, the rubble, and it works out well. Yeah. Is that a gun there? Uh, yes, it is. All right, so Meyer has acquired the rail gun. That rail gun. It is a great gun. So I think you can carry two of them, actually. Yeah, you can. You can pick up a second <laughs> one and carry two rail guns on your back. So you can dual wield. That uh, would be awesome, I think actually. you do that in the heavy armor. Can you do that in this armor? Uh, we'll see. I think you have to have the heavy. Yeah, see, yeah, you, you gotta, gotta have the heavy armor. Yeah, you can only carry right. two in the heavy armor. Well, check out my footprints. The footprints. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right, so where is this gun anyway? All right, so let's meet up at a cutlass. Okay, at a cutlass. Uh, Somebody's doing strafing runs on the uh, <laughs> starting area. Yeah. All right, so there's Meyer. You guys have found each other. Yep, and they're strafing us, actually. Yeah, in a cutlass, even. Yeah. Like, they're doing what we were going to do to them. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. They overheard us talking. Yeah. We were going to do that to you guys. All right, so let's Because look. we don't have an available cutlass. Yeah, so... Because they're flying the... We might have to wait for a cycle, but we can do it with uh, with hey, this thing again. You and the cutlass. We can do it with the uh, with the uh, Ursa. Yeah, we'll, we'll drive the Ursa. We'll look for a cutlass, and if we can't find one, <laughs> well, I've got a gun anyway. Oh, okay. This oh. one's taken. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe it's like destroyed. No. Yep. That's just a little of Disco Latino abusing his power. <laughs> I think he's trying oh, to find out how to get into the. Seat. Yeah, we're fighting for it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. Is he gonna leave? I don't know. He's putting that flashlight on when you sit down, though. All right. <laughs> Salute. All right. So, Mario, why don't you kneel down here? <laughs> kneel down. Yeah, okay. get us a better view out the back. All right. Wait, so let's see, what, let's see what kind of damage we can do out the back of an Ursa. Then there it is. Pull it out. All right. We're out of the armistice zone, so here it is. I like. I love how it like comes out. Okay. Anyway, so. <laughs> We got two, uh, oh, oh, we got two uh, Noxus All over right. here. Drive in Go. front of it. Do it. Right, no. Your it's target is right in front of you. Drive the other way. Where's the Nox? They, they were flying a little bit higher. Okay. I'll see if I can, oh. Mm. 
I don't see anything. I love the. Oh, there's one here. Okay. We're in pursuit. Okay, I'm not sure just um, how fast. Oh, you see some issue. I don't know if we can reach him though. Nah. He's uh, he's coming our way. He's coming our way. Okay. You see him? Oh, there he is. We're back in the armistice zone. There oh, he is. Oh, the there's zone. two of them. And there is. The there is. Right, yeah, we're no, in the oh, armistice zone. zone. Armistice zone. Oh no. Oh no. Well, we can get out of there. We're following another one. Hello. All right, weapons online. Oh. All right. Oh man, there were two of them, man. I could have taken them out. Okay, one's chasing us now. Oh, a gladius. Take the gladius out. I hit him. I hit. Oh, oh! he hit us back. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Well, it was a noble effort. Yeah. Well, don't bring a don't bring a rover to a gladius fight. That's for sure. <laughs> yes. So uh, I hate to I hate to break this to the Star Citizen community, but uh, gladius versus Ursa may not be a fair fight. <laughs> I love this sidearm. I have no idea what it is because I've never seen it before. I've never seen that kind of sidearm before. All right, so I'm going to I'm going round back here because I know that this is where the uh, the railgun spawns. Look how slick the door is in the new Aurora. We can do it from an Aurora as well. We could. We could. Let's do that. Is that you? It, yeah, that was me, but somebody took my Aurora, so. I mean. Well, I mean, tough for him. Let's go You're get not doing it very well, ship acquisition. <laughs> yes. So, well, we're going to demonstrate uh, piracy right here, guys. Uh, live on screen. Oh, oh, oh. Well, well, a little bit too late. <laughs> the speed, though. Or not. You're watching Sergeant Gamble and Meyer get punked <laughs> by people who have never played the game before. <laughs> only on twitch.tv slash star citizen. Oh, and, and we're switching. That's what they get for punking us. Right. Yep. Switch. <laughs> and of course, this is the switch over. If you haven't been watching since the beginning of the show, uh, we we run the servers in 15 minute increments. That's what allows uh, everybody who's been waiting in line to come in and filter in and and start fresh. So everybody starts with all the same ships, all the same weapons available to them, and it's a mad dash to see who gets to the ship and the weapons first. So everybody is now loading in. Meyer and Meyer and uh, Gamble are attempting to load in. And it will be a race to see who can get to that railgun and that cutlass first. Are you picking up the railgun? I'll take the railgun. Okay. All right. Not You're everything up. has to be a race, because otherwise I'd win. Unless it's a race to the dark side of the moon. I am. You lost that race. I'm not going to. You have a lot to win something. While we're waiting, I want to watch that Ursa commercial again. Yes, Sergeant Gavel, Sergeant Gavel, taking command of his uh, Drake Cutlass. All right, engaging those systems. So right, we're going to wait for Meyer. He's going to pick up a real gun. Hey, why don't you give us a little? Why don't you fly around the area here? Give us a little tour of our tour, tour of the spawn zone. The spawn zone. We actually haven't shown the spawn zone. That everybody's spawning in today. So, yeah, so, the, so this is our little outpost on the uh, surface of Daymar, where all of our players in our show floor are spawning today. You can see it's populated with a number of Ursa, uh, a Cutlass, uh, two Cutlasses, uh, two Gladiuses, and a couple Nox. Well, let's get some Fs in the chat for that. Uh, Whoa! I'm sorry. <laughs> wreckage of that caterpillar. You that broke his wing. I broke his wing. <laughs> It just crumbled to the ground. 
So that's actually going to affect how he flies now yes. in a really big yes. way. We've just ruined this person's <laughs> first impression of Star Citizen. Like, this ship flies like crap. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Poor caterpillar. All right, so where are you, man? Pick me up. You got your railgun, Meyer? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. And as always, right above, you. right All above right. you. Chat likes to remind. Oh, oh he's getting shot. He has getting shot. <laughs> that oh, gladius has come back. Here. That gladius is not happy <laughs> with Sergeant Gamble. They're probably upset because he still hasn't taken him. Meyer, take him out. Oh, take, take. I'm in the armistice zone. <laughs> I'll, I'll run. I'll run outside and see if I can help. Do you have the rail? So as long as you can land in the armistice zone. All right, I'll put her down. Well, luckily, you've been ready gently. for that the whole time. Gently. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Oh. All right. Like a glove. Like a glove. Now you got to open the doors for Meyer. I am opening the doors for Meyer. Are they open? No. They're there. There's Meyer walking in. Walking in. And we're getting shot. We're getting shot. I got to get. Oh. Yep. Gonna, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were, take taking, off without him. you were taking your time walking in, though. We were getting shot. You said walking in, so I, I walked in. Uh, I am getting shot. <laughs> All right. I, I spawned on the railgun, so I'll, I'll Lowered I'll expectations. <laughs> All right, so Sergeant Gamble's flying around with his flap open. We've all been there, usually after three or four drinks. <laughs> Damn it, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Railgun should be somewhere around here. There it is. Meyer's acquiring the railgun. There we go. Okay, I'm back where you left me. Is that you? No, I can't be. It's going too fast. Oh, that's not me. I'm actually hovering that's over the spawn point. <laughs> that's a crash. That's a, that a gutless. <laughs> oh, excited. <laughs> <laughs> Something's going on over there. Hey, where are you, Sergeant oh, Gamble? I see him. He was a bit closer than I thought. There you go. Sergeant Gamble showing off that Hota strafe. Strafe back a bit. All right, that's perfect. He's down. Easy. He's landing gear. Easy. I want to show off the landing gear, actually. It actually looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, you got somebody else jumping in. That's cool. Better take him out, Meyer. Get your gun out. <laughs> <laughs> Ramps, my only weakness. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, I'll just wait here. Is it right. a rabbitis? <laughs> okay, there's more people, there's, more people there's a rover Ramp coming in. <laughs> ramps. Why did it have to be ramps? <laughs> okay, Tarzan Gamble's got a party ramps. bus right Look, now. Look, he's just throwing people. <laughs> he's throwing people. Look at the body. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, wish we were on the other camera. Oh, 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 oh. oh no, we saw it. We, we saw him flip him up from Gamble's camera. Oh, okay, good. Oh. Gamble oh. just killed somebody with the ramp of his vehicle. All right. oh. That was okay. amazing. Let's try right. it oh. Let's Jump go. in. We oh, gotta go. <laughs> I this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Maybe this we should try it. This Cutlass has the root and toot and no, wildest was, ramp in maybe, the West. Maybe I should stop straving down because I was straving I down. Know, a lot, I think so. it's just vibrating so violently. Kill, kill right. power. Kill power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just in the presence of the right, ramp and I'll, I'll kill the power. <laughs> yeah, 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 kill the power. Kill, kill the end. Ladies engine. Ladies and gentlemen. Off. Engine off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is DJ Knight reporting from... Stanton News. There we go. We're finding a and massacre. On the Come on, Meyer. Oh, gee. I don't Come know. Come on, Meyer. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I think it was yeah, just vibrating so yes. quickly. Yeah. There there we go. Go. It was like wobbling around. Meyer is safely aboard. For now. For now. <laughs> There's a dancing gladius outside. Let's get out of here quickly. All right. All right. All right, Meyer. It's time for you to rain some hellfire down. Will do. As soon as I uh, get out of the armor system. I, have, I love this view so much. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, right. get the rail gun ready. Yeah. There you go. Do it. Do it now. There okay. you go. This is awesome. I feel like we need a good Vietnam War movie song. Ooh, gotcha. Uh, is that a rover over there on the top left? Is that a rover? I don't know. That's, that's, a, that's a cutlass park. Let's take it out. We're coming around a cutlass right now. All right. No, Armistice, uh, Armistice. Uh, go straight up. Go straight up. Straight yeah, up. Straight up, 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 up. You have to watch out going back to the Armistice zone because yep. there we go. There you go. You can get above it. Oh. In the wind. Oh, this is it. No. Put that rover instead. Got him. Oh, Ooh. nice. Oh wow, he no he, he's done. Run. Yeah, he's nailed. I killed him. No, I think you. I think you killed him. No you got a good shot on that cutlass now, <laughs> Armistice. Yeah, Armistice. I killed him. I feel bad about that though. No, don't. No, don't feel bad. <laughs> don't feel bad at all. They just stood in an hour and a half to, <laughs> to play. Good job, Mike. <laughs> oh, that would have been awesome. Hey, Gladius is going back to its home planet. <laughs> <laughs> My people need me. So what, what is that? Is that a constellation down yeah, there? Yeah, it looks like yep. it. Looks like Connie Wreckage. It's an Aquila. You mean Aquila? It's pronounced Aquila. It's pronounced right. Aquila. How about we uh, <laughs> we put in a stop? The right debate here. of the century. It's no debate. There's the people that are right and there's the people that are wrong. <laughs> it's coming up on the left side, Mike. On, on the left side. On the left side, you can see your. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, what? Oh, those legs, though. It's just my legs. <laughs> it's just my legs. Nothing little drugs won't fix. <laughs> Wreck those legs. All right. Where's the front? You coming down, too? No, I'm your getaway driver. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go into this camera. We can go up, actually. We can actually see a bit more of uh, what's going on here. They're kicking up quite a lot of dust there. Gamble with your cutlass. Yeah. I love the particle effects. They're ridiculous. Okay, I think that's the helm of it right there. Yeah, the side the, the side hatch looked like it was open. Can you go in? Can we? Yeah, I think so. Or one more. Maybe not even there, but right around the corner. Yeah. Once more into the breach. Oh, Here there's a Gladius trying to shoot us. We left again. Oh, okay. There we go. I'm inside. I don't think I found any treasure. Oh, can I make this jump? Okay, no, I can't. <laughs> uh, where's my getaway? Gamble has exited the cutlass. I, I told you I'm going to be my getaway driver, Gamble. What's going on? What gives? You're awfully quiet, my friend. I am not quiet. Do it, Meyer. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Do it. I didn't want to have to do this. Oh! <laughs> Rail. Gun. Rail gun! <laughs> and now you are the getaway driver. <laughs> Look at me. What the? Who was shooting at him from there? That's weird. Well, please. Killed ramp. you with the ramp of his vehicle about four times, right? Yeah, I think he deserved it. Oh, and now we're And switch room. Switch, right. switch, switch. And of course, we are switching. Switch. Change places. Ah, so what else can we do? We've got we've got 20 minutes left. No, 40 minutes left. Right. What can we do that we haven't done? I don't think we've gone to the out to all the outposts. We've gone to the Crusader one several times, but I don't think we saw the uh, the Ryari or the Shubin one. Oh yeah, yeah, let's, yeah the let's, closest. Let's scout. Let's scout. The closest outpost. Right. Each one, of you, over. Yeah, each right. one of you jump into a ship and let's scout. Okay. Let's, let's, let's go let's uh, 31. Breadth. Huh? Let's go with 31. Then. All right. Let's see the breadth of this. And for those of you that are out there watching and wondering why we're talking about the break, it's because since we have so many people in line, there's only 15 minutes that they get to get hands on Star Citizen. So rather than letting somebody in that seat go on the other side of the planet in an Aurora and just sit there, they want to populate the area with people, weapons, so that way you uh, see other players. So they're resetting once the people stand up to start the next group. 
and we are in the servers with them. So there's resetting to make sure that everybody gets the chance to play Star Citizen as it's supposed to be played with other people.
Landing gear wasn't down. There it is. Yes. Oh, so stop listening! Oh god! Okay. I can't I can't do whoa 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 whoa. whoa. Good job. Alright, there we, we go. Did that help by like, leaning to the side <laughs> like this? Yeah, it did actually. I'm alive, aren't I? Aren't I? <laughs> Yeah, you can't land this ship in third person unless like you're some kind of like pro or something. All right, there we go, and land it. There we go. Yeah, uh, Gamma, I think you've got to turn your engine off. Well, you know, um, <laughs> I'd rather you... leave it running because if I want to like, be fast, I'll leave. Yeah, quick exit. Yeah, but your ship's not going to be there when you come back for it. If you don't turn your engine off. I know, test pilots, right? Test pilots, right. They can't even open doors. There we go. All right, so this is the last outpost. I, the, I think it's the last one. I have, I've, we've seen Crusader outposts. We've seen um, Shubin outposts. This is the, the uh, Rayari Incorporated uh, outpost. And uh, well, this is like a, the science division, right? So like, the, they're, they're a science company. And uh, so, like, they do things like hydroponics, and uh, I believe that you'll be able to grow plants and stuff within a specific uh, ship, right? The uh, Misk Endeavor, right? They've mentioned what? That. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm here with my bodyguard, Sergeant Gamble. Yes. We're inside. Yes. So what I like about this is that it looks completely different from, like, from the, the in the interior from the uh, the other ones that we've been in so far. Yep. There you. Go. Can we go through here? What's through here? So these are the labs. All oh, you. Yeah. All the greens. The hydroponic. I wonder, I wonder what kind of missions and stuff would be in this this kind of place here. You know, like. Uh, what would you have to do? So Metroid stuff, obviously. Metroid stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I like the view from, uh, from from Gamble's thing. I like watching me like a uh, walk. The walking animations are ridiculous. This is more extensive than the other one. Ooh, what's that? This is eggs. pretty big. Yeah. Is that a potato? Um. Well, this is legal on, on Daymar now, <laughs> but as of last year's vote, so... <laughs> like, we're planned because, like, the, the fruit, the top is, like, fresh and the bottom is rotten. Mm. The Kylo Ren fruit? Well, that's it for today's broadcast. <laughs> What's that? Oh, what? I got 20 minutes left? Check it out. Crap. <laughs> Check it out, the Gamble. These blue ones. Mm, those are weird looking. Yeah. Delicious. And then we have uh, and, uh, some watermelon. Can you shoot the watermelons? No, no, that one. This one here. I can. This one here. Nah. You're watching CIG Cribs only on twitch.tv <laughs> slash star <laughs> Hey, yo, welcome, Crusader Industries. Welcome to my crib. My name is Royari, <laughs> and this is my <laughs> this is my hydroponics room right here. <laughs> I got my name over everything. <laughs> my place so lit, I got my name on the walls. <laughs> All right, guys, we got 20 minutes. All right, what should we do? I mean, do you want to do that duel? We can do that duel. I'm lost. <laughs> Follow me. Follow me if you want to live. It should be follow me if you want if you want to die because you're gonna try to kill him, right? You're just underselling your own abilities. I'm actually yeah, well. surprised that he's living this long. He got the shotgun. He's in the heavy armor. Can you get back in there? Did you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we might have cheated that a little bit. God. Yep. Yeah. It's all right. Sam's, whoa. Oh, look, that's, um, oh, oh! Dexo. What's nice. going on, Joel? 
Hold on, wait, wait. That is pretty cool, though. That is, that that is awesome. That is awesome. We have a space engineer in the building. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. That is really cool. That is super, super awesome. And pretty hot. Mm. Oh, I bet he's oh. super warm in that dude. Like, <laughs> I, could, I don't want to put another t-shirt on, let alone that gigantic spaceman suit. Can't do it. So if you guys don't know who that is, that is actually uh, another uh, broadcaster on Twitch called Xoclip <laughs> or <laughs> Joel. Um, he is uh, doing a lot of Star Citizen as of late as well. And uh, right now, he is the guy dressed in a red astronaut costume. Yes, that's so close. Cool. <laughs> gets it down. <laughs> no, gets. <laughs> okay, Neil. Here, hold on. Look at this. Look at this guy. There you go. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Switch that to two. Hold on. Let me see your hand thing. Look at this. Hey, the camera's right there. Oh. Just got this thing. Push the buttons. Push cool. the buttons. Look at that. Does that handle the light? Yep. He's got a control panel here. It turns on the that things. That is super sweet. Look how much cooler than I am than I am this guy is. What's your name? So clay? Hey, yes. <laughs> right. well, thanks for coming by, man. Hey, be safe. All right, so I can't find any gladiuses. I think we're on the server that the other guys aren't. So, do you want to do a? Do you want to do a, uh, a prospector battle instead? A prospector battle? Yeah. Okay, I can get with that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm at the prospector wow, right now. Wow, that sounds interesting. What a what a way to go out. In the show, The Bang. Yeah. So I'm waiting for you. Watching, judging. In like uh, how much da damage I can do to your ship. How many shots? Oh, oh, let me, let me oh. walk away from it first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. There we go. The uh, Miss Prospector, one of the most dangerous combatants <laughs> in the Star Citizen universe. I want to watch through one cockpit and another person entered. The, what? Uh, you got stuck in the geo. Uh, no, uh -oh. no, I'm good. I'm good. You okay now? I'll fix it. There <laughs> we go. I'll wait for you up here. No. No. I think you're stuck. Yep. Yeah. I'll try and dislodge you. Ah, uh, it's probably because of the switch. It might I'll be just open of... the door, see if that helps. There we go. Okay, nice. Yeah, because on our screen we showed that you were stuck in the door. Yeah, then he opened it, now he's okay. Yes. The, uh, the Miss Prospector is armed with two size 2 laser pointers. <laughs> they allow you to mark your target with ease. Alright, so as soon as we're out, the battle's on. So it's a race to go to it's a race to exit the atmosphere. So we're gonna burn up and then burn back down and land. And it's a death battle too, so you can shoot at me if you want to. 
I'm sorry. Come again? So I'm going to come back down. So, yeah. So we'll start together. We're going to go up together. It's a, yes, it's a death battle race. So we'll race together. Let's go all the way back down. And uh, it's the first to break through the atmosphere, so like uh, you know, like so we can see the particle effects of uh, exit, right? And then coming back down into reentry. Okay. And we can have a fight do going both ways. So where are you right now? Are you with okay. me? Okay, I'm, 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 I'm ready. Let's All go. Right. So three, two, one, and then go. All right, and I think I put myself in the wrong, in a bad place position already. So I'm gonna spin around. Shoot her! Shoot her! So what I'd love actually is a, a turret or something so I could like shoot behind me. Well that would require any other ship. <laughs> exactly. You can't get me, can you? Oh, uh, well, every once in a while. It's kind of drifty. And there's a fly flying around here at the booth. Mm -hmm. That's rude. <laughs> How far away am I from you right now? Don't watch, don't watch my screen. <laughs> You're cheating. All right. I'm running out. Well, I think I'm going to be the first one to break through the atmosphere, so I'm going to just try to shoot you when I come back down. I'm telling you what I'm going to do right now, because I know you don't have a chance to win. <laughs> Did you already break through the atmosphere? No. Okay, I was, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Let's get a 360 there, Daniel. All right, so I can turn around right away. Uh, you have to wait for me, actually. What? No. <laughs> Right, get out of here. Get if out Meyer here. ever challenges you to a competition where he gets to make up the rules, it's weird. Just rules. change the rules on the fly constantly. throughout the whole thing. What if I? Whoa! 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 Can I get in trouble here? There you go. <laughs> and I would like to see you catch a guy that is falling to his death with a cutlass. All right? Hey, hey. No. Try no, me. I, 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 I dare you. Try I dare you. It's all right. Try me. What? What? What are you doing? I'm re-entering. You're lying. You didn't even break through all the way. I never said all the way. I'm never gonna team up with my. Nope. In three <laughs> nope. This will be the never. last time these two are are paired up here. <laughs> Come on, where is this thrilling prospector combat you promised us? Well, he's disappeared. I can't find him. The, the intention was to find him and like to, to fight with him on the way up. But, right. uh, In prospectors? Yeah, well, yes. <laughs> you see the flaw in this plan? I do now, yes. But we didn't have any gladiuses to fight with, though. All right, I'm touching down. I would have laughed if you blew up touching down. Yeah, well, I still would have won. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I, we, I think we need to like a uh, cycle service if you want to try out different shit or something. Uh, we've only got a couple minutes. Right. So let's go straight to the starting point. Okay. Whoa! Come on! Come on! There we go. Like, I had to like uh, strafe upwards like a lot to stop my ship from hitting the ground there. Show them the hellfire that a uh, that a prospector can rain down, Meyer. <laughs> can do. <laughs> aye aye. Is that you? It is you. Prospector attack. All right, let's let's finish this duel. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> Man. Uh oh. There we go. So, uh, it's not as easy as it looks keeping this prospector up. 
like 10 meters off the floor like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't have any trouble keeping it up, though. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. You're watching you the last it. broadcast of Jared Disco <laughs> Lando Huckabee. <laughs> Had a good run. Okay. Until these two decided to do aerial combat and prospectors. It's the big finish to our finale. Thursday broadcast. I mean, go. Oh. That was close. I had to straight back to stop myself from crashing into you. Well, <laughs> that about does it for our broadcast today, fine <laughs> folks. Uh, some housekeeping tips uh, currently on sale. The Arisa Rover, the Miss Prospector, the Cutlass Black, and the Knox. They're available on robertspaceindustries.com. They are part of our special sh uh, uh, ships of 3.0 promotion. Careful. Your last chance to get them at their introductory prices. Uh, the, the URLs are accessible by QR codes. You can find the QR codes or just the URLs freely available on social media, Twitter, Reddit, Spectrum. Uh, just take a look around. You're going to find them. Uh, of course, we will be back tomorrow for a full day of broadcasting. We are starting at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, that's 8 a.m. UTC, two hours earlier than we started today and yesterday. That's because we also go live that evening, live from the Gloria Theater, uh, with our fifth annual Gamescom presentation 2017. Uh, that, of course, is hosted by Chris Roberts. Uh, just a quick, just a quick, I, yeah. I shot Meyer, and now I'm taking his ship back to... <laughs> uh, at least half his ship. I'm taking it back somewhere. I don't know where yet, but I harvested his ship with a prospector. I'm good for today. Thank you. And I'll just be down here. Sad. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that a rip in my shorts? All right. <laughs> so, so thanks for watching, everybody. Again, we'll be we'll be back. Uh, same crew. Uh, actually, we'll be back with the same crew. Uh, special guest uh, tomorrow, uh, Eric Chiron Davis, uh, senior producer and uh, studio director of Cloud Imperium Games Los Angeles. He'll be joining us live via Skype. So you tune in that and ask him all your burning questions. And of course, again, the Gloria event tomorrow night, 7 p.m. UTC, uh, 9 p.m. local time here. That's the big Chris Roberts presentation you've all been waiting for and look forward to every year. So with that, I'm Community Content Manager Jared Huckabee. That's DJ Knight. Hi. That's, uh, and those are, yeah. I think the, 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 the less we talk about those two right now, the better. Here, you, you guys say goodbye. Here's your camera. There's your camera. You, you say goodbye. I don't even want to do it. We had a lot of fun. We did. Today. We did. We did a couple of bunch of bunch of cool things, I guess. Yeah. You know, yeah. So I'd like to thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Uh, really excited to uh, be here again tomorrow. So uh, starting at 10, UTC, right? Yes. Right. No? Yes. Yes. No, it's 8 UTC. <laughs> 10. No, it's 8, 8 UTC. Oh, yeah. That's 10 true. local. Okay. So we're signing off right now. Thank you so much. My name is Sergeant Gamble, and right next to me is Meyer underscore test. And right behind both of them is DJ Knight. Hi. Hello, DJ. Oh, you're there as well. Yeah, yeah. We're, I thought you in. were teaming up with Jared. So. I've been leaning in, like, saluting, like, going up the pinky. And wishing he had nothing to do with any of them. <laughs> Jared, I could be. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Good night. Later.